Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm going to be doing another Disney related video, because why not I guess. So, I figure we'll do this, because it's something I've been, it's also something I've been meaning to do for quite some time, of course. If anything, this is going to be like a, a re just like a talking, just disgusting what the... Frozen 2 cast members reacting to the fact that given uh, the possibility if Elsa should Elsa rather not she she should have a girlfriend and yes of course I figured I would just talk about this kind of a thing because it gave me a good reason to, to talk about Frozen 2 again so okay with that being said let's just get it into it, I guess. And I throw my two cents into it, of course. So here we go. People want Elsa to have a girlfriend. I realize that, and that's up to Elsa. When is Elsa going to get a girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. Shouldn't she? I, yeah, I, I hope she does. You know, look, if that's what she wants. And when should Elsa get a girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, I'm standing right here. But I am her mother in this movie, so it's weird. So I don't think that's going to happen. But I think eventually, yes. You know, Elsa doesn't define herself by a romantic relationship, as I do not try to define myself by a romantic relationship. She's just figuring out why she has these powers and where she belongs. And she's got the weight of the kingdom on her shoulders. I love that Elsa, unlike every other princess, is not defined by any kind of romantic relationship. That she's just like an independent woman. Elsa doesn't focus on romantic love. That's what we love about the entire franchise. Is That's not what's important. The, the love that we focus on is our self-love and our love between the two sisters. Okay, first off, I would say, yeah, they're, they're avoiding the question. They're being a bit evasive quite a bit here. And also, with the last little section, it sounds like someone's being a little bitter about it. And then on top of that, <laughs> And not only, not only that, it just also sounds like somebody has been single for way too long than he should be. And also, having a relationship doesn't it doesn't automatically mean that the Elsa is going to remove her independence. I mean, okay, I mean they're they're bringing this and that. Okay, this about some things. That's not what the individual was talking about. That's not what the question was about I mean okay yes granted I'm not I'm not exactly hearing a no really I'm not exactly hearing no but yeah it just comes off they don't want to directly answer the question because they already I'm pretty sure they already know that there's a some controversy going on here really I mean okay yes it's grant granted it maybe they could be doing it as a secret or whatever and maybe reveal it later but I highly doubt that's the case because of the fact that those those rumors that they may or may not do Frozen 3 really so I can't even say that at all and FYI folks just to be clear here okay I'm not trying to take stabs at anybody who is single or whoever is going through a toxic relationship I'm not trying to make fun of anybody here but, like I just said a moment ago, uh, these films are already going through a lot of controversy for, for that very thing. Because, case in point... I'm guessing the majority of American parents don't want their little boys turning into sodomites. At this point. At this yeah. point. If you were to interview, stick a microphone in front of most parents dropping their kids off at the average K-6 school in Colorado, where are they sporting their GLSE and signs everywhere, but you just interview them and you ask them are you is your goal is your vision for this little six-year-old boy eight-year-old boy nine-year-old ten-year-old boy that he turn into a sodomite my guess is that uh, i'm guessing uh, they're trying to avoid the question because of you know people like him because there's, a, there's been lots and lots and lots of controversy around this kind of a thing which yes is, is of course is, is stupid I'm not saying people can't be happy being single. I'm not, not saying people can't be happy while having a relationship. So, I'm, so don't try to say I'm, I'm trying to get this twisted or anything. I'm not, that's not the goal here. But it's just the way they worded it. The way they worded it, 
the the answer seems kind of odd to me. Everybody involved with this project to be the happiest people, of course. I want everyone in about this project to be having a joyful, loving, crazy, adventurous life. You know, have fun. You know, life itself is already hectic as it is. So I'm not trying to say any of this to be mean or whatever. So, yeah, do not exactly answer the question. I mean, okay, at the same time, I'm not hearing a no, really. So I'm getting kind of the vibe that they probably wouldn't mind it, really. But I'm still. Dragon Age Inquisition got into some controversy, and it was actually banned in India just because there was a lesbian type of character in this game. I mean, seriously, how many times do I'm going to bring this game up? I brought this game up multiple times already. I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of bringing this game up. I mean, it's not a bad. It's not a bad game. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, 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 just saying. Yeah, point being, yeah, this kind of thing is an issue for a lot of people. It, even in 2020, it's still an issue. Come on. That's really stupid. close minded this much. But yeah, folks, I just want to do this video real quick. And yes, of course, there's no clear answers, really. Sort of. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe could. I don't know. Whatever. As always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm.